Anytime you deal with the word pox, you gotta go to the doctor. And we have Dr. Brian Arnall here to tell us about cowpox. Let's, what, what, what are they and what do they do? So cowpox are gonna start showing up in the wheat fields this time of year and also in the pastures a little bit later. It's basically the piles and the urine patches from the livestock that's been out on the, the ground previously. And they're getting greener in some areas. Well, that's a sign of nitrogen deficiency, nutrient deficiency. So, so we call them cowpox because you'll see little green spots all over the field. Right. They're a great indicator. In fact, I call them the original, the natural <laughs> enriched strip. Enriched strip, yeah. We just... we just made the cowpox bigger with the enriched strip. <laughs> so, so the cowpox are just a sign that the field needs nitrogen. And right now, you know, I've spent a lot of time on the road lately. I'm seeing more and more fields show up, which makes sense. A lot of producers, you know, didn't put a lot of nitrogen down due to the droughts coming into the year. We've had growth starting to come out and you're starting to see these green patches. Now's the time to make the decision. We're getting a little bit late on nitrogen application. In fact, last weekend, Dr. Edwards put out a post about hollow stem coming in most of the varieties on the test plot. So we're getting near hollow stem, if right. not already there in most cases. Now's the time to apply if we're going to apply. If you see those little green patches in your fields, it's a good opportunity to gain more yield. More than likely, if you get nitrogen on the field, you will reap the benefits in terms of grain or increase forage production if you're just going to a graze out system. Uh, keep in mind, if we're moving past hollow stem, if you're taking a machine over the field, tire damage comes into play. The perfect opportunity would be maybe a, a liquid applicator with narrow tires covering a large area and very little damage for later uh, growth in wheat if you want to recover from that. Mm -hmm. But it's just a good sign that now's the time to apply fertilizer and you'll get an economic benefit. Okay, and, and right now you're actually wanting pictures of these also, aren't you? Absolutely. Uh, these pictures are great for education and extension mm -hmm. purposes. So anybody that wants to send me pictures, please go on my website, put uh, send them through my email or my Facebook or Twitter right. feed or, or what be it. And, uh, Please send them my way. I'd love to be able to use them. Okay, so 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 right now is almost the end of application yeah. time to uh, to fix them. In, in normal application, we want people to be on before hollow stem. Right. Be, just limit damage. The wheat, as a plant, can still recover after that. But the closer we get to flag leaf, closer and closer to flag leaf, the less and less likely it will be that we can recover and yield. So now is the time. Okay. Don't wait any longer if you see those cowpox out there right now. Okay. Dr. Brian and all, thank you very much. And for more information, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.